the turn of the 20th century, the resurgence of the women's ish, suffrage issue uh, sparked a great debate. The stage of public opinion was deeply divided and voices were raised on both sides of the argument. Cartoons were used as creative ways of expressing opinions, subtly or not so subtly. This pro-suffrage image depicts a common notion of the female vote instigating some municipal housekeeping, asserting that women's positive moral influence would be an asset to the corrupt world of politics. This poster is another great example of pro-suffragist sentiments. As caretakers of the next generation, women should have a say about who is making the laws affecting their children. The artist, Rose O'Neill, made a career of drawing pro-suffrage images, often featuring children like these, who inspired the design of the Cupid doll. This image, promoted by the other side of the controversy, shows how upsetting it would be when gender role reversals occur, and the woman, in her business chic clothes, goes to vote, leaving the man behind, donning an apron and fussy babes on each hip. This was a popular anti-suffrage argument Put another way on this poster, the energies of women are engrossed by their present duties and interests from which men cannot relieve them and it is better for the community that they devote their energies to the more efficient performance of their present work than to divert them to new fields of activity. You can see how this marketing tool gets the point across. For the part of Alice and the National Women's Party, they employed pro-suffrage images of this kind in their weekly publication, The Suffragist. <laughs>